Good morning, my lovelies. How are you today? Today, we'll be taking a walk on the wild side by making a little zebra. Now, if you see, the zebra and the unicorn's faces are identical. So, follow the pattern for the unicorn face and the ears, and let's meet up for the mane and the embroidery. Now that we have our ears and face crocheted, like the unicorns, let's pin the ears in place first and sew them on. Just above the eyes. See if they need adjusting. If you're happy with where they are, then you can leave them as is. And let's sew them in place. Now with a long piece of black yarn, we are going to embroider the stripes on the face. And You can measure them with your eyeball. I just eyeball them. Make nice and long stitches for the three stripes on the face. And this is how you secure them. Just stitch over and go back in. Okay. Sometimes a bit of stuffing comes along. Do not pull on it too much because it will come out like a tissue box. That was what was stuck on the the yarn Now that you have embroidered the face, just go back out where you started. Knot it tight. And 
and you can cut the yarn. Now what you can do is with the stuffing that came out, just push it back into the hole where it came out using your scissors and if you still see that it doesn't want to go back in just slightly cut it away careful not to cut your work okay let's move on to the main make a slip stitch with black yarn and insert your hook between the ears in the center of the head and pull up a loop okay that this counts as your first stitch like this is the first stitch it's the single crochet so now single crochet nine more times down the center of the head three four five six seven eight and nine you should have ten single crochet stitches Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Chain two, turn your work, and do three double crochets in the same stitch. And the next stitch, also three double crochets. Three. Attach the white yarn. Take the, the black yarn and the white tail underneath and make three double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Bring up the black yarn and do three double crochets into the next stitch and hide the white working yarn too and crochet over it. So it's three into the next stitch. Three double crochets and three double crochets into the next stitch also with black yarn I love this little mohawk eh? very punk-esque Switch to white yarn again. Three 
three double crochets into the next stitch and three into the next switch to the black yarn We are done with the white yarn, so we're going to snip it. Knot it. And hide it away. Three double crochets into the next stitch. And the last stitch is going to be very hard to see, but just pull everything back a bit and there you will see that last bump. That is the last stitch and three double crochets into, the, into that stitch as well. Make a chain, and fasten off. Okay. What you can do is you can work away this yarn and leave the mohawk standing upright like this. What I like to do is just bring it back a bit, sew it there, then it looks like a little fringe. So you can either have it upright or bring it down. It's up to you. Okay, so. Just make a little knot to secure everything. And now you can safely cut the tails and hide the yarn. We are almost done. All we need to do is add the cheeks and the keyring. I like to use a little bit of or a piece of the retractable crayon because it's very pigmented and non-toxic just sun kiss the nose a bit All that's left to do is attach the keychain, go right next to the main, close the link, and there you have it. A little zebra it's complete which one is your favorite the unicorn or the zebra <laughs>